Coffee is so much more than just dark colored liquid with caffeine. It's actually one of the healthiest beverages in the world. So much so that it can actually help you live longer. Now, is there any science behind that statement? Here is what we know so far. Coffee, believe it or not, happens to be the biggest source of antioxidants in the Western diet, in some studies outranking both fruits and vegetables combined. Now that means for people who eat a standard Western diet, coffee may actually be one of the much healthier inclusions to their eating pattern. It's these antioxidants, which come from the coffee beans themselves, that are thought to be responsible for many of coffee's health benefits, uh, particularly long term. And several big studies do show that coffee drinkers live longer. In a groundbreaking study at the time, over 400,000 individuals between the age of 50 and 71 had been asked about their coffee consumption. The results were fairly remarkable. After following the people for 12 to 13 years, those who drank the most coffee were significantly less likely to have died. Now, as you can see from the graph, the more coffee people drank, the lower their risk of death was. Um, the sweet spot seems to be four to five cups per day where men had a 12% reduced risk and women had a 16% reduced risk. Um, drinking six or more cups per day provided no additional benefit. But even moderate consumption of one cup per day was associated with a 5% reduction in risk of death, uh, suggesting that even a little bit is enough to have an effect. Both decaf and regular coffee had the same effect, so it appears that the benefits do not come from the caffeine content. There have been other huge observational studies published uh, with similar findings. Now, in this study of almost 100,000 Japanese men, um, the authors concluded that more coffee appeared to be protective of all-cause mortality in both genders. Uh, the same for this study of over 200,000 health professionals, which found that compared with non-drinkers, coffee consumption of one to five cups per day was associated with lower risk of dying. Of course, I want to clarify that these benefits are based on observational studies, which cannot prove that coffee on its own is responsible for the reduction in risk of death. So we cannot say with absolute certainty that coffee makes you live longer, um, but we can say coffee drinkers do in fact live longer. Nevertheless, it's great reassurance that coffee is at the very least not the villain it was once made out to be. When you consider the other long-term benefits associated with coffee consumption, including reduced risk of type 2 diabetes, uh, Alzheimer's disease, and liver damage, uh, it makes sense that big coffee drinkers tend to have better health outcomes. But before you get carried away with your pumpkin spice latte, remember that it's straight coffee that has these beneficial components. So as soon as we start adding unnecessary calories to our coffee from milk or cream, uh, and we add sugar and syrups, then the beneficial attributes uh, are all but cancelled out. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the Authority Nutrition YouTube channel, um, be sure to click the big red button below the video and that way you can stay in the loop when all of our new videos uh, are released.